hello guys welcome back to mr deep coding channel now this is part 14 of the kmm social media app series and today we are going to implement the post likes apis for our social media application so without further ado let's get started before we start coding, remember that in one of our previous videos, we did the post likes at our part of post likes uh, APIs, I would say. The reason for this was that we wanted to know if the current user has already liked a particular post and we sent that information in the post response so that the client app can decide which like icon it should display to the user. So in this episode, we'll just start from the repository part because we also implemented the add like and remove like methods, as you can see here in the post like style implementation. All right, so now let's start with the repository part. All right, so let's now expand the repository package. And from this repository package, we are going to create another package inside it called post likes. Now in this post likes package, we're going to create a new interface that we're going to name as post likes repository. Select interface and hit enter. Okay guys, now since the process remains pretty much the same as what we did in the previous part, you will see I'll be pasting a lot of code from my demo project so that we don't waste much time and I'll try to explain each line of code as much as possible. Now for this post likes repository, we'll have two methods. Now the first one is to add a like and this is going to take a params called like params. We're going to create this class in a moment and it returns a response of type like response. Now we are also going to create this like response in a moment. The second method is to remove a like and this also takes the likes params and returns a response like response. Let's quickly create these like params and a like response and for that expand the model package and in this model package let's create a new kotlin file that we are going to name as post likes and from here we are going to have this like params and also a like response for the like param we have the post id and the user id and for the like response we'll have success and a message all right now coming back inside post likes repository we need to import a like response and also a like params so next let's create an implementation for post likes repository select both methods and click ok now our post likes repository implementation will need to have the like DAO and also the post DAO. So import those two interfaces. Now next let's implement the add like methods. From here the first thing that we need to check is that the current user hasn't already liked this post. So we're going to define this variable like exists so depending on whether this like exists or not we are going to return by checking if the current user has already liked this post in that case we need to return a response error and the status code here will be http status code forbidden and the reason for this is that the post is already liked so if the current user hasn't liked this post, then we need to like the post and get a response from likes DAO if the operation was successful or not. I mean, if the operation was successful or not. Now we'll have this post liked uh, variable and we are going to return an error or success based on if this is true or false. So if the post was liked, we need first of all to increment the number of likes count and for that we are going to call post dot update likes count and return a success response if uh, this post could not be liked or i mean if the like could not be added inside our database then we need to return an error and saying that an unexpected database error has occurred the user should try again okay now to remove a like record from our database we will also define this like exist variable so the reason for this is that we need to be precise on what type of error has occurred on our site when we send an error message to the client if we couldn't remove it for any database exception or any conflict on our side then we'll tell the user that we couldn't remove the record but it still exists in our database so they should try again later 
but if the like does not exist then we'll tell the user that there was an error because the like was already removed or doesn't exist in our database so right below a like exists we are going to return if the like exists we'll add some logic here but if the like doesn't exist in that case we need to return an error the http status code will be not found and the error is that the like was not found or may already be removed from our database now if the like exists in our database so here we need to remove the like from the likes table so for that we'll call likes dot remove like passing in the post id and the user id we'll create this like removed uh, variable that tells us if the operation was successful and based on that we are either going to return a success but before that we would like to increment or decrement the number of likes count and also return an error telling the user that there was in a database exception or a conflict when trying to remove this record from our database all right so after the post likes repository we need a post likes route to handle the api request and for that expand the route package and let's create post likes route now as usual we'll need an extension to routing from Kator. Uh, you need to import routing and from here the first thing and uh, the first thing that we need is to have this post likes repository so for that you can call by inject we will inject that using coin then after that we need to call the authenticate blocks inside this authenticate block we need a new route that is going to have this path so in here we're going to have two http uh, methods the, the first one is going to be a post method now this is going to have this path uh, forward slash add and from here we are first of all going to get the params so import like param and for that we need to call dot receive nullable then we're going to check if params equals null and in that case we need to respond with an http uh, status code dot bad request now if we reach this point that means uh, we could successfully convert what we got from the user to likes params so in that case we need to define uh, this result variable and call repository dot add like passing in the params and then respond with what we get from the repository and if there was an error then we need to catch and respond with an internal server error okay so to remove a like we'll do um, pretty much the same but this time instead of a post we'll have a delete method now the path is going to be uh, this forward slash remove and we do pretty much the same thing we first of all get the params and then check if params equals null and respond accordingly if params is not null then we need to get a result from the repository and respond with what we get from the repository and if for any reason there was an error we need to catch that and respond with an internal server error so that's basically it for post likes route now we need to add uh, this post likes routing to our uh, routing inside plugins so open routing.kt and we need to pass here post likes routing now after that uh, the other thing that we need to do is to add the repository because as you can see here we are injecting this post likes repository but coin uh, doesn't know how to provide any implementation or any instance of this post likes repository so expand the di package and open appmodule.kt and from here we're going to provide post likes repository when needed now I think uh, this is all we need to do for post likes uh, APIs and now we can run and test our application. Okay guys, now here I'm inside Postman and as you can see, I already have this add like request and also remove like request. Now before that, we need to come here in get profile request because we need to add like from this user. So we need to copy uh, this ID and we're going to pass that here so it's already uh, the id that we needed to pass and also if you come here in get user post request if we send this request you can see that we are getting this list of posts and as you can see from this post we don't have any like so the likes count is zero so we are going to copy the post id and we need also to pass that here now we have all the params that we need to pass to this request so let's hit send uh, we are getting success true now to verify that a new like has been added 
we need to go back inside uh, get user post request hit send again and as you can see now this time we are getting a likes count equals one now if we try to add the like with the same user on the same post it should return us an error message saying that the post is already liked so this is working and you can verify that we are still having this likes count equals one now to remove a like we'll we need to submit the same parameters the post id and the user id so let now hit send and we got this success true so if we go back get user post request and hit send again as you can see the likes has been reset to zero so yeah i think all our apis are working perfectly if we try to remove again now we're getting this message saying that the like was not found or the like was already removed we'll stop the video here for this episode and until the next episode take care i will see you bye